All right, YouTube model rocketeers, check this out. Most of y'all who make mid-power and high-power rockets know you can put rail buttons on these rockets and shoot them off a rail instead of a rod. How would you like to put rail buttons on your smaller rockets? Little rail buttons and shoot them off a smaller rod. Instead of shooting your small rockets off a whippy, cheap, um, you know, wire, you can shoot them off of a nice rigid rod, just like you do your mid-power and high-power rockets. So if you go to this website, railbuttons.com, you can get these micro rail buttons. They're very small. There's a sleeve that goes on it. These I got off of Amazon. Uh, this is a 256 machine screw. And these are 256 weld nuts. And you can drill your hole for your rail button and then pass a string through there and pull it out the end of the tube run the string through the weld nut i'll show that in a minute and then pull the weld nut into the body tube till it pops out of that hole and um right before you pull the weld nut through reach in there with a dowel and put some epoxy So that micro rail button's got a 256 thread. I got a 256 tap, cut a little square of balsa wood, tapered the four edges. So when that goes inside the tube, there's no um, snagging. And I'll glue this inside the tube. And then I'll put my micro rail button and thread it into that tapped hole. You probably don't have to tap a hole in balsa wood. You could just drill a hole and glue your stud in there. But I just like to play around with stuff, so I bought a tap. Um, to put inside your tube, <clears throat> you know, something to secure this micro button, you could put balsa wood, you could cut a little disc out of uh, some lightweight metal, you could cut a disc or an internal piece out of something made out of plastic. You could get creative to think of different ways to put something inside your airframe tube to secure that stud, but I just thought I'd do this with balsa wood, taper it, tap it. Now the string I used here is not exactly appropriate. It's monofilament fishing line. And typically what I would do is I'd run the string through there and then run it through the weld nut and then on the back side tie a knot but I can't tie a knot that's bulky enough with this mono to hold that nut. So I had to be creative and I put a little stopper here behind the weld nut so that when I pull the string, it'll pull the weld nut into the body and through the hole there. And I'm gonna mix up some five minute epoxy and reach in the tube there and glob epoxy around on the inside. And then I'm gonna pull this nut through so I took my dowel and I put it there at the hole. And then I come up here to this end and put a pencil mark. So I'll put epoxy on my dowel and then reach in there and smear it around on the inside of the tube there. So I reached in the airframe tube with my dowel and got my epoxy on the inside there. And then I pulled that weld nut through with that string and pulled it into position. And then put my micro rail button there. So now I've got a small airframe rocket. I think that's a BT-60 tube on this Estes Patriot. And I can shoot that off a small rail. Now you can get the rails 
on Amazon. I believe it's called maker.com. Now, after you're finished, look down in there and if you think that might snag your recovery material, you can reach in there with a bit of epoxy clay and make a smooth little domed button and push it on to the inner aspect of that so you have a nice smooth um, bump instead of that piece of hardware sticking in there that might snag your recovery material. This is the little mini rail that fits on those micro rail buttons. So if you want to launch small rockets off a rail, go to railbuttons.com, get some micro. Not They make regular rail buttons. I think they have some called mini, and then I'm pretty sure these are called micro. So you want to get the micro rail buttons for your small rockets. Then go to Amazon and look for this maker um, small rail. If I can find the Amazon uh, link, I'll put it in the description below. I've got that rocket <clears throat> with many micro rail buttons sitting on that rod. Check it out. There's a rail button under my thumb and then one down below. I should put the camera further back, but you get the idea. You can launch small diameter rockets off of a rail, you know, even down to BT-20 tube sizes using these micro rail buttons. So then I've got the uh, rocket fit to that. It's called Maker Beam. And you can get them in different lengths. This is a pretty long one. Uh, I may cut it a little bit shorter. They also make shorter ones that are too short. You'd have to join them together. So I thought I'll just buy the long one and I'll either shoot it as is or if I want to shorten it, I'll shorten it. 